to you with a review uh, and also a disassembly video because I haven't seen a quality one out there on YouTube, uh, probably because of the rarity of this gun. Uh, today we have for you Tokyo Marui VZ61 Scorpion. Okay, compact machine pistol. Uh, it's an automatic electric pistol. Uh, this one here, fully adjustable hop up right there on top, pull back by the charging handle. Uh, lower body is metal to include the pins, uh, selector, single shot, full auto, safe in the center, trigger, trigger guard, uh, mag release, the uh, wire buttstock which is foldable, locks into place in the front, uh, your little uh, rail system here in the front is plastic but I mean it doesn't hold very much, no big deal. Uh, the outer barrel, I believe, is metal, but it's kind of hard to tell. If it isn't, it's very dense nylon fiber plastic, uh, which I know from having to um, melt down a little bit of it to reshape this uh, pistol grip because I made a modification. I could not stand this 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery that it came with. Um, it was only... I think 500 milliamp, it is a 500 milliamp battery, but it it's ridiculous to try and find them, it drops off in charge so easily, I just said the hell with it, and I wired it to Dean's, taking the fuse out completely, and I fit a 500 milliamp uh, 7.4 volt LiPo battery in here, which has actually upped the rate of fire uh, considerably, I figure I've gotten between 4 and 5 EVs per second more out of this gun. Uh, and it fires consistently. I went through uh, four drum mags yesterday uh, just testing it out. That's about uh, eight, nine hundred rounds. And I did not see a depreciation, so it looked like that 500 mAh battery lasted uh, for that with no problems. On right, now we're going to get to the disassembly, and I'll show you guys how to get into this thing if you want to make that particular modification that I did to put it in the pistol grip. Um, and I'll show you what not to do so you don't end up having to melt plastic like I did and try and reshape it with your soldering iron. Alright guys, go to the overhead view. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is we need to do remove this flathead screw uh, which holds the uh, wire stock into place. Very simple, just get at it. Unscrew it off the one end once it comes through loose with the thread. You just pull the pin out. At that point, you're just going to roll the stock over, pinch it, pull it out the bottom. There's a little gate right here in the back on the one side. Okay. That being said, very simple. Uh, next maneuver, we got to go in here, get a really small Allen. Okay. We've got this pin right here. Real small Allen. Don't lose them. The shorter of the two Allens is the one that fits in this hole which holds the body pin in. The second of the two, which is slightly longer, goes right here by the pistol grip. Put those right in my little magnetic tray. All right, now we pop out this body pin. And what holds the thing to get the whole thing together comes, and it'll just come apart. You just slide it out. All right, here's your uh, hop-up barrel assembly. Essentially, it's a pistol barrel. You could easily uh, pull the C-clip out, put a longer barrel in. Uh, I know there's an adapter that you can get to put a silencer on the front of this to make it a little more accurate, but um, I've been shooting this thing inherently. It works really well out to about um, 120 feet or so uh, with the hop-up dial in with point twos, uh, just fine. Uh, take and slide the safety lever out, no big deal. Uh, next thing, go ahead and get a small Phillips head, and right down in here, right by the air nozzle, there is a little screw, that one's not even small enough, let's get a small one, alright, there's that little screw out, get in the magnetic tray, alright, take this little clip that holds the air nozzle in, in the front of the Mac box, roll it inboard, pull it off. Now you'll be able to remove the mech box by gently sliding it forward and lifting it off. 
Alright, now when you pull it off, what you'll end up doing is you'll pull these, pull the wires off the studs right here. That's what connects to the battery terminal. There's your whole assembly right there for the motor. Uh, one quick suggestion when you're doing this kind of stuff, if you've never opened up a gun before, uh, whip out your cell phone or whatever other camera you have available. Take a quick picture. It will always refresh your memory to get you back to where you need to go. All right. Next maneuver, I'm going to switch over to where is that fat flat? My magnetic Phillips screwdriver because it's easy to get these screws out. Now, what we're trying to do is take out this body screw. It's one. Of, it's the larger one in there, and then this one all the way here in the corner. Uh, those two are the ones that are going to hold the pistol grip into place. All right. There's one, and this one down in here. Ah, there we go. Forgot one small thing. This right here, this little bar on this side right here, this is actually the, uh, the mechanism that moves the safety back and forth. All right, without that in there, the safety won't function. Also, it's much easier to get the screw out when you're... Uh, <laughs> got that out of the way. There we go. And now the pistol assembly should just slide right off. Uh, take care with the, uh, the trigger guard because it is attached right here. All right. And now to remove the guts of the pistol grip so you can get inside, it is, uh, I believe, a single screw, which is this one right here at the back of the pistol grip where your web of your hand goes. Pull that out. And there you go. That should be able to take out the whole assembly. Now, as you can see, I've already modified this. I cut it down all the way to about a half an inch before um, this spring retention assembly, which actually is what uh, gives the spring to the, uh, the safety. Because uh, without this push down, uh, this is actually the safety engage, um, and it allows the trigger post to line up correctly to go into the switch assembly. Um, I just ran the wires under through here using a 16 gauge wire, soldered it in, put a little bit of heat shrink on, and bam, um, she's good to go. Uh, my next project, I'm actually going to take and get a little epoxy and get this in here really solid so that I can easily push the connectors in and out of the pistol uh, without uh, putting undue stress on the wires, bending them back and forth. Um, so that, that's project number two. I just wanted to get this thing functional. Um, once again, if you have to take any of this apart for a reason, it's fairly complicated. I suggest taking, and, um, taking a picture. Now, to properly run the wires in, all right, you can leave the whole assembly the exact same it is under the plate. No connections need to be made. Uh, black wire, your negative, needs to go to this post here. Um, okay. And your red wire uh, goes to this post right here. That takes the whole fuse assembly out of the, the, uh, the equation and runs it direct. The 7.4 volt, even with this small motor, it's not going to be a problem, um, as long as you're not sitting there firing it on full auto for the entire drum. I, I don't think you're ever going to cause a problem. Um, and if so, you can get replacement parts from JGs. They're direct clones. Uh, not a big deal. All right, so just a little bit of solder on the existing battery connector, uh, and then this one here, direct. Um, I took this one completely out of play just because... Uh, Less resistance, less path to travel. I figured it would just be a little bit better. Okay, so now that I got that shown, let me show the pistol grip. Uh, the pistol grip in here, uh, what we had to do uh, in this area there was the uh, the whole fuse assembly, which I've thrown away, so I can't show you what I can actually. Give me a second, I'll grab it All right, back. All right, this is the original uh, Marui fuse assembly. Uh, I just cut it out of the... Uh, pistol grip. It was back in here uh, at some particular angle. I don't even remember because I I just don't. 
But uh, yeah, this was in there and it was making it impossible for me to fit my little 500 milliamp light bulb. Um, and so I said the heck with it, just carved it out, now it fits. Um, I'm sure you could find a proper sized LiPo battery that might actually fit in the stock configuration and all you would have to do is solder to these tabs without any trimming, uh, but that's not the LiPos that I had available here at Coppola Airsoft. Yes, I tech here. <laughs> uh, and I was like the heck with it, so this worked out for me. Um, could work out for you as well. Alright, reassembly. Very simple. Slide the whole trigger assembly, switch assembly back in here. Alright, go ahead and grab your screw. Throw it in there to lock it back into the plate. Okay, she's locked in. Slide right in here, fit it into the spot on the trigger guard. And then just gently work it in here. Why are you being a bastard now? There we go. Just be a pain in the butt. Okay, get these two screws. Make sure you back them off just a little bit so you don't cross thread them put these in because, well, get one cross thread, it be a real pain in the butt. Alright, so you put those two screws, one body, two body, the two biggest screws in there connected to where the pistol grip area is, and now your pistol grip is on, it's good to go. Go ahead and take the safety lever. Uh, make sure that it's lined up so that the, uh, the little peak-shaped uh, portion of the safety spring is right in the notch. That'll put it into the safe position. Okay, and then keep it uh, vertical, otherwise the safety may fall out. Your next thing is what you'll do is you'll drop the motor back in. And I'm going to pause here because uh, dropping the motor in can be a pain in the butt putting these posts in. Okay, back, um, as you can see, the two posts are in. Uh, from the way I wired it, uh, the red wire uh, goes over here, the black wire goes over on this side. Uh, so, you guys can uh, rewire it the normal way. Just make sure you check your electrical pads. Um, the little helpful tip is I actually uh, just took the tip of my flathead and I scribed it in on the plastic so I know which side to put which one. You don't want to incorrectly wire your gun and then run the motor backwards and blow the fucking thing up. Oops, excuse me, can't say the F word. This is just, just going to go on YouTube. Rebel, rebel. Anyway, uh, then you just go ahead and drop the motor back in. Uh, push it backwards just a little bit uh, to get it seated on the little uh, thing. Take your retention C-clip slide it right into here on the bottom and then just kind of roll it in place back in. There's two little plastic studs in there where you got to get it set on uh, or it won't, uh, won't go in right. Uh, just remember, unlike me, take your time, go slow, do it right, take pictures, make notes if you have to. Uh, you don't want to rush it and accidentally break your gun. Okay, now the whole lower assembly is back together, save for putting in the safety, which all you do is line it up uh, in the safe position, and it should just drop in. Uh, just roll it around until you get it seated in there all the way. Uh, what I do at this point is I hold it in place with my thumb, and then I take the uh, upper receiver, making sure that the hop-up is pushed in all the way, uh, is I just go ahead and get it to about there. And then I just gently slide it back. Uh, at this point, you push down the back end to fit it into this uh, oblong little slot. Slide it in. Uh, now you're going to have to hold it in place because the hop-up spring will push it. And just go ahead and insert the pin from here. This side, you'll know it's on the, the proper side because it's the uh, same side as the mag release. Uh, then you will take your small... Phillip, uh, excuse me, small Allen. Uh, take that really small Allen screw. Ah, little bugger. Really 
small Allen screw. And then that one goes right in here on the pin. That locks the pin into place so it can't fall out. Doesn't have to be too tight. As you can see, it's, I put it decently tight. And kept the whole pin in there. Okay, the next one, like I said, right back here at the trigger guard. And bam, she's in. And pistol is now reassembled and ready to go. I'm gonna go get go outside, get some BBs loaded, and get a shooting test. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to reinstall this. Pinch it close so there's no space. Get it seated just like that, and then just slide it right back up in the bottom. Uh, you let go of the pinch, and it'll be good. Slide the pin, screw it down, good to go. All right. It's going to be a minute to go get a battery, and we will have a firing test. All right, everybody. Uh, I just hooked up uh, one of our house uh, lipos just to make this test real quick. Um, my little 500 apparently isn't charged because I'm a dumbass. Uh, but uh, above and beyond that, let's go ahead and get to the chrono and uh, see how hard this baby shoots. Now, no modifications have been done to the internals. Okay, so it's shooting about 210 or so using 0.2 gram BBs. All right, let's go ahead and uh, full auto and see where the rate of fire is. 16.4. Yeah. And maybe I should try not shooting the inside of the rim. 16.38. Not too bad, actually. All right, I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, from range what it looks like with this thing shooting. Okay, that uh, building across there, it's our kill house. It's one of our buildings here at our CQB Arena. Uh, I'd have to say that's a good 75 to 80 feet. Pop-up is flat, shooting all the way out there into the building. All right, guys. Well, that's um, my little, uh, my little uh, video here for the uh, mods, review, and shooting test. Uh, to be honest, I quite like this gun. I uh, really, uh, I think I'm going to pick up one for myself. Uh, I can't wait to see the look on my customer's face when he sees uh, sees the work we did with it. Uh, it should make it a lot more usable. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm hooked. <laughs> Let's find a one, way one, one, to make it shoot a little faster. Point mm, twelves? Nah. Crap BBs, don't use twelves. Alright guys, well this has been another review and uh, informational video from Grunt Logic. Y'all have a nice day and uh, see you next time. Coda, what daddy got? Huh? What daddy got? Daddy got the airsoft gun? Daddy got the airsoft gun? Huh? You wanna play with daddy? Here.